I'm excited. Uh, we have, as always, so many fabulously attractive and talented, which is less interesting, people here right now. I'm going to bring them up on stage, uh, make them feel welcome if you can. I'll chat to them about 15 minutes, and they'll be heading off to their individual interview pods, as we are now referring to them. And you can scrum over there and grab who you can. So, will you join me in saying welcome to? Except, uh, hold up, we're doing it in that order. Okay. We've got some four newbies, by the way, four newcomers to Comic Con. Let's start with, we've got uh, Chandler Wiggs and Emily Kinney. Come on up, guys. <laughs> Walking Dead, bringing families together. That's the new phrase we want everyone to take away from this morning. Gail, I'm going to start with you right down. Am I right in thinking that the remarkable ending to season four uh, is the first time you've ended on such an overt cliffhanger? Hold on, Robert, would you pass the microphone down to Gail, please? Thank you. Sorry, Sorry about that. I'm a good, I'm, I've got a very loud voice anyway, you probably, I probably didn't need this. Um, it's the first time that we've left on a cliffhanger and um, with, our, with our entire cast in jeopardy, or missing. And, uh, you know, before we've picked up months later when the new season begins. And this time, you know, we, we heard Rick make the declaration you're screwing with the wrong people, and I guess we're going to find out just how badly the Terminants are going to are going to pay. Um, so I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Masterful and gorgeous writing, having them referred to uh, by their captors in their archetypes as the samurai and the leader and the uh, the archer. Of course, calling back to the scene earlier when Rick's talking about the pigs, uh, really beautiful stuff there. Let me come down here to the youngest members. Of the class, but you guys, I guess, how long have you been um, growing up with zombies? Like how, so you've had like, how old were you when you first started doing Walking Dead? Tyler? I was ten when I first started the show, so I've kind of grown up on the show, and it's been really, it's been really a fun adventure, and you know, I've learned from all these people on the cast, and they've all been my mentors, and it's been really cool, just uh, having fun on the show. And Emily, how old were you when you started? Wow, I feel like that's just no. <laughs> I was I was in my twenties. I was twenty five when I started, but um, Beth Hold on. was just. I'm just really confused now. I thought you were okay. I apologize. Uh, that wouldn't stand up in court, but I apologize. I had no idea, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just I just act like an immature teenager, so that's okay. it. Okay. I can. <laughs> but um, I have grown up with Beth for now. This is my my fourth year on the show, and. Um, so I've gotten to kind of grow up a little bit as Beth, and I've definitely, you know, learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for trying to save me there. That was incredibly generous of no, you. No, I do, I do. It's still been, you know, four years of my life, and, uh, you know, we've all grown up together in a really great, great okay. way. So you're, you're where in the season now in terms of filming, uh, the, the season we're about to see in five? You're, how many have you recorded? Let's go up there. Let's start with Andrew. We'll go to you. How many have you recorded so far in the season, and how many have you done? Am I allowed to say this? Yes. Uh, we've uh, seven. Yeah, it, I just want to say that's the first time I've ever seen you blush. <laughs> <laughs> you liar! <laughs> we'll always have Paris. Um, so seven shows. So you're heading back to. And where are you filming? You're still filming down in North Carolina, or is it Atlanta now? Georgia. It, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, yeah, it's always been Georgia. To an English person, that's all essentially the same place. Um, uh, he does not speak on my behalf. Just so you know. Okay, uh, Stephen, I believe you are, you're either affecting the pimp swagger or you've injured yourself in some way. Uh, explain, <laughs> ex explain the cane first, if you will. Um, it's just I'm trying to up my cred, my street cred. Uh, no, I, I hurt myself playing basketball, and I asked for the best alternative to a crutch, and that is a duck handle <laughs> pimp cane. So, and uh, does the duck up. head pull off to reveal anything within? Or? Uh, I wish. Um, I might take your suggestion from earlier, but okay. maybe not. Let's move on from that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stephen, I'll have your money ready tomorrow. Oh, thank you. I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're, you're due uh, over on K Street in a little bit. I'm, I'm on my Does way. anybody get what's happening? I don't know. Okay. Norman, I gather this shoot has been uh, particularly arduous. I mean, obviously, it's action all the way when we come back in the beginning of season five. You, you've, uh, you've suffered a couple of injuries as well. Is that right? This is for Norman. Oh, is that me? Yeah. Oh, guy. Uh, my nose. Oh, I was hit in the face with a spinal cord. I'll just leave it at that. Um, Such a baby. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it, you know, it, our show's the type of show that if you don't come home with a bruise or a cut or whiplash, you kind of feel like you haven't done a good job today, you know what I mean? So I, I wear it with pride. 
I'm going to ask if someone could pass the uh, microphone to Melissa because I want to welcome Melissa. Oh, yeah.